Hi, in this video I'll cover the trim function. What the trim function does, it removes leading and trailing spaces from text. So for example, if you had some space after this name here or before it, it would remove those. Any space that comes in between uh, two letters within the cell, it won't remove that. When I first discovered the trim function, I had to wonder what was I going to use it for? But then when I started to go into pivot tables and wanted to count uh, text, I discovered its use. So let's let's see an example of how it could be used. So let's create a pivot table here. We wanted to count how many times each name shows up. So I like keyboard shortcuts. Let's create this pivot table. Alt N V T. And I'll create this pivot table on a new worksheet. I'll bring the name down to the row label and also I want to count how many times each name shows up. So if we already see here, Susan shows up twice and Tom shows up twice but they're on separate rows. It should be a count too. The reason why, of course, because there's a trailing space. Um, let's see, that's the second Susan. There's a second Susan here and there's a trailing space. We can see there's a space there. And For Tom, there's no space there and there is probably a space here. So we want to go back to this worksheet. Now let's go ahead and delete this. Yeah, we'll keep that. We'll refresh it when we uh, change this. So we'll go back and look here. And instead of going back and changing, uh, deleting that space as I did here, what we can do is use the trim function. So the trim function, you just type an equal sign, trim, open parentheses, and just select that cell reference, close parentheses, control enter, and we can double click the fill handle here. And what it does, you is it will remove the trailing space. What I can do here is just copy this and paste it in here. Control C and then Control V. Oops. What I need to do is copy those values only. So Excel is really nice with it and when it brings up that little tip there. Okay. So what we what has happened right now is let's say we have Susan down here that space is gone and it's gone from up here. Now if we go back to the pivot, I have to refresh this table. Uh, there's two ways you can refresh it. You can do you can either right click and oops. You can right click, refresh, or there's a keyboard shortcut for this too, is Alt F5. And see what happens? It counted Susan twice because that trim function had removed the space. So that's the essence of the trim function in Excel. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.